and welcome to the Knife Farmhouse. I'm Leanne and today we are making a slow cooker bacon cheeseburger dip. If you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. If that sort of thing interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you find value in this video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow and I sure do appreciate it. This video is part of a collaboration hosted by Tiffany at Small Town 6. This playlist that I'm going to drop down below, many channels have come together to share with you their apps and entrees and party desserts for you to enjoy. Now being Mennonite, we don't watch Super Bowl, but we have lots of parties and lots of social gatherings where we love to eat. One of my church sisters introduced me to this dip many years ago at a 31 party and I've been in love with it ever since. I've been waiting for the moment to share with you this recipe and today is the day. It slow cooks up or bacon in the oven. Either way, it's delicious. Let's get started, shall we? For bacon cheeseburger dip, you will need a pound of hamburger, two cups of cheddar cheese or any cheese that you love, eight ounce brick of cream cheese, bacon, the amount I'm gonna say is up to you, one onion, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a can of Rattel parsley. Let's get started, shall we? I cook my bacon in the oven. I think it's easy and it, it gets crispy. I don't like cleaning up grease splatter on the stove. So we're gonna put in as much bacon as you want or could afford. I'm going to bake this at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes until crisp. If you grow your own onions, I find the tops from the onions that sprouted go so much flavor. And why throw that away when it can be used? Now you want to soften your onions for about 5 to 10 minutes until they come a little translucent and soft. Then we're going to brown our hamburger. I use the Pamper Chef Mix and Chop to break up my hamburger. When I was doing my Pamper Chef party back in 2020, I learned there's 10 different things you can use this for. It's very practical utensil in the kitchen. I'm adding salt and pepper to the meat to make sure it has the amount of flavor that you would want. If your beef has a little bit too much fat, just take some paper towel and Take it around your pan to collect any grease that you might not want in your dish. I just take paper towel to wash off the excess grease. And then we're going to chop up our bacon. And if, it, if you have kids, maybe just use a pizza cutter and let them cut the bacon up. Get them interested in cooking. Or just being able to have quality time with each other. Kids do want to be with you. Now, I put this in a bowl. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought maybe I'd just put it in the oven and do it faster. But then I thought, no, people would need to see it in the slow cooker because it's easier to serve to guess that way because it'll stay warmer longer. Once the hamburger is cooked and the bacon's cooked, it all comes together pretty quickly. So in the slow cooker, you're gonna add your hamburger, your bacon, and your cream cheese, and your cheddar cheese. As I'm opening the Rattel, I am just laughing because this is the first time I've used an actual can opener since Christmas. And if you've watched my cream of crab soup video, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. That's how often I use a can opener in my kitchen. Then we're going to add the Worcestershire sauce and the parsley. And not least, the bacon. See how yummy that looks coming out of the oven? Now, as I'm making this, it dawned on me. Why did I have to buy Rattel? I could have used cowboy candy in this dip. And I could have used crushed tomatoes from my pantry. That just goes to tell, show you how you can just use stuff that you have on hand. If you love to watch sporting events at home, tell me what do you serve to your guests? I would love to know.
You want to stir well to combine and put a lid on it and set it on low and it will be done in two hours. It is really hot. It probably not even needs two hours on low. So let me find a chip and we'll taste test this for you. Let's add some topping or garnish. That is very good. If you want to give this a try, the recipe will be down below. This also makes a great casserole. Add in a quarter cup of sour cream and some elbow macaroni and bake for 20 minutes, topped with cheese, and you have an amazing meal. Just add a salad or a side of broccoli or asparagus, and you will have a wonderful meal. And thank you for watching, and come back and see me at the farmhouse real soon. Take care. God bless. And if you've made it this far into the video, I so do appreciate it and thank you. And here's another great video of mine to go watch.